How's it going YouTube? Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to do some sanding, some polishing. We're going to make things shiny and beautiful and happy and um, other REM references. Welcome to my kitchen. Promise it is my kitchen. There's daffodils there, look. That's to show that it is. Um, I've been kicked out of Destroying Amps HQ, uh, my spare bedroom. So uh, by my missus, she's working from home, so I've been relegated to uh, pot washer. So today, yeah, we're gonna sand back, um, smooth out and polish the um, Jaguar that was painted probably at least a month ago, if not more than a month ago. It's been sat curing, um, getting nice and nice and hard so it's it's good to go we can sand it back nice and smooth and then we have to polish it up for a, a mirror shine it'll probably be a few hours work i'm not going to make you suffer an hour of uh, me uh, polishing the guitar but i'll give you the highlights the sexy highlights and it's going to uh, it's going to be good by the end of it you're going to know exactly what to do so here we are with the Jaguar body. Um, I normally would be cautious when um, smoothing this out and I would go for some 800 grit wet and dry paper um, but this is all I have. I've run out and I'm too lazy to go and buy some more because what I have got is plenty of 600 now, the reason I would choose 800 over 600 is it's just a little bit more, um, you can have a bit more control over it, um, which I think is obviously quite important for not getting, you know, sand throughs and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm going to be brave. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the, the 600 just to, to do the bulk of the work and then do a little bit of the 800 to, to finish it off um, and then move up to I've got some thousand grit um, and I think 1200 2000 I've even got two and a half thousand grit um, so we shall persevere with that and see how we get on. Um, the 600 grit paper, wet and dry paper, has been uh, soaking in some water with some washing up liquid in, just to help lubricate um, as, as we're sanding. Um, in the past, I have tried to, it's always recommended to use a block when sanding, um, but what I found with paint, um, when you're trying to polish it up, uh, it's so much more easy to get sand throughs with the block. Um, and so I am very careful, but I use just just my hands. Um, I have very gentle hands. Anyway, so the idea is it's quite rough. You want to get it smooth um, with the, the 600. And then the, the rest of the sandpaper is just to get rid of the scratches that the 600 paper will create. Um, and then you have to polish it. So let's uh, let's crack on, wish me luck. Um, if I get any sand throughs, uh, you probably won't see this video or me ever again. Okay, here we go. Keep on uh, re-wetting the paper. You want to um, stop the build-up of crap getting in the sandpaper. You can almost immediately feel with that 600, it's, it's taking it down and making it smoother. 
Um, so it's really important to just, as you're getting a, a gauge for what you're doing, is to just keep on drying it off so you can see where you're at. And to be honest, already, that's incredible, that 600, I'm going to have to be so careful with the 600. Um, it's already smoothed that down quite a bit. Um, you can still see there's little uh, darker spots. That's where there's, uh, you know, the the orange peel effect. So for the first first part of this is just going to be doing uh, sanding it down, drying it off, sanding it down, drying it off. So we'll uh, we'll crack on with that. dry that off um, I want to try and as best as possible try and avoid too much moisture um, going into screw holes and, and bare wood um, it's difficult to avoid really um, but if you can avoid it you should because it could swell the paint up and make it all horrible Okay, so, so far that 800's done a, sorry, that 600's done a really um, good job of, of smoothing that off. You can see, hopefully you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video, to be honest, um, in some areas we've already got a fairly smooth um, paint job. And then on the parts where I haven't spent quite so much time, um, you can see the the darker and uh, deeper um, orange peel. Um, so just got to start to be careful now on the parts where, you know, round here, round here, um, where it's uh, over here as well is a good example. Uh, where it's already sort of smoothed those divots off. So, I think what I'll most likely do is I'll stop there with the, the 600 because the, the 600 isn't the end of the story. Um, there's still uh, the, the scratch marks that the 600 leaves behind still need to be removed. So. We've got to have some meat on the bone to dig into to, um, to remove those scratches and then so on and so forth with the, the, the higher grits. Um, so there is still the odd bit of pimpling 
I'm calling it all different things. I, I, I know it's orange peel. Um, but there's there's still some there. Um, although it's 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 mostly gone. Um, so the what I will do now is I will take um, the 600 and I'll do the back and I'll do the sides and then I'll, I'll catch, uh, I'll start the video again for the, um, the 800. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be on somewhere close. Um, I've probably been on the, the 600 grid on the guitar now for about an hour. Um, and um, I'm going to move on to the, the 800. I thought I'd give you a change of scenery with the, uh, the back of the guitar. So you can see um, all, if not, well, the majority um, of those dimples are gone, but it's, it's fairly uh, scratched up off the 600. So this 800 grit will take some of those scratches out and some of the dimples as well. Okay, so um, that's the, the 2000 grit um, done. There's still swirls and, and stuff like that in the paintwork, but hopefully um, we can get that out with the, the next stage. So there's this product here um, that I've used a, a few times. Um, I know you can get proper uh, guitar stuff, just chat that's in frame. Guitar stuff that, um, guitar polishes, sorry. Uh, but this you can pick up um, in Halfords um, quite easily, quite cheaply, and you'll do like a million guitars with it because it's obviously designed to be used on cars, which tend to be bigger than guitars. So we're going to apply that. It will most likely take a few goes of this. Um, so we'll we'll go for that and see if we can get rid of some of the scratches and try and get a really decent shine going on. Um, don't need a lot. That's probably too much, but. What ifs? So I'm just going to dampen down that same muslin cloth. Um, and go to town. This would be a lot easier if I had a machine, but I don't. So here we go. So this is the process really, just swirly, swirly, swirl. Um, I guess that this tea cut does have some, obviously, cutting properties to it. So it is very slightly taking layers of paint off. Again, so we do have to be careful. It's usually better to uh, work on sort of a, a small area first. 
but I'm going for a big finish. So we'll uh, we'll do this half of the guitar, leave that side, and then you can see the difference. And I'll pop up some pictures of how it looked in the beginning. And I think I'll leave the video there because uh, nearly school pick up time. Um, and I'll finish the, the polishing off layer and add some pictures to the video. You start to see the shine sort of poking its head through there. I'll let that uh, sort of dry a little bit before I buff it off. Um, I do have a proper buffing cloth. Um, that I might end up using, but it's not uh, clean and dry. I think it has bits of stuff that might scratch the paintwork. So we'll take that off, see how uh, shiny we are, and no doubt we'll have to do it another couple of times, I would say. Probably lots of wobble cam, apologies for that. So that's looking pretty good. There's, um, there's still some swirling in there, but that that's only the first the first go at it. Um, hopefully, you can see the reflection of the camera and everything. Um, so we'll do a little bit more. The good stuff about this. Um, the good thing about this, sorry, is it has some sort of pigment in it, so it fills the the scratches. I think possibly rather than re you know removing them, removing them, um, and you can get them in like blues and reds um, for you know if you're doing that sort of colour for your guitar. That's looking pretty good for the first go. So yeah, you can see that shine is poking through lovely. So next up on this guitar, anyway, uh, I've got to shield it. Um, I need to get a, a decal for the headstock applied. Um, and then it needs wiring up. Um, I need to get a, a new pick guard sorted. String it up to the lemons and uh, We'll call it finished. Be able to play some sweet music on it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. The next video, obviously for the shielding and stuff, might be a bit shorter than this one. The wiring, um, you've already seen my soldering skills, so the, the wiring will certainly be a look at me do it and laugh rather than this is how you do it. Right, so the second one is done there. Um, we're gonna just read the instructions there and it says remove before it dries. So, 
guess I'll win. There you go. Second pass over there is um, better still. <laughs> uh, it will just keep on getting better and better, shinier and shinier. Um, the scratches will, or the swirls really at this point will start to start to go. Um, black paint obviously shows um, every like you know every issue. Um, so if you had like a like a blue or red guitar, then the scratches would be a lot easier to get out. Um, so yeah, I think I'll I'll do another one. Um, and uh, I think after that, I've got some diamond wax. We'll see if that shines it up anymore. So oh, let's have a look, big reveal. That's looking pretty good to me. Uh, very, you know, reflective. Um, I don't know what, I'm trying to find something to reflect in it. Uh, but yeah. I can sort of just maybe lightly see some scratches still in it, some swirl marks. Um, so we will we'll have to you know do another couple of passes, but uh, so far that'll uh, that'll do. It's uh, good enough for pit work, as I see around here. Um, right then. Let's have a look at it finished. Boom! Okay, I hope you uh, learned something there and um, you're going to go and paint your guitar and not feel so scared of doing it. Don't be scared. The worst thing that can happen is you ruin your guitar. So don't worry about it, alright? Guitars look better when they're fucked anyway. So. 
anyway look after yourself don't um vote tory and i'll see you in the next one